Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe InDesign and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today guys is show you how to create an interactive button within Adobe InDesign. A really cool effect that you can apply to really keep your audience members engaged in your work and your designs, but a very simple, simple step-by-step -step process for you to create your interactive button. Okay. What I have in front of us here is a three page spread. And if I was to use my zoom to tool now, press option on Mac or auto on Windows to zoom out, you can see my last page here. I've clearly labeled it last page. That will make sense at the end of the uh, tutorial. Okay, so how do we create an interactive button? What I'm going to first of all do here, quickly zoom in, is I'm going to use a shape and I'm going to use a nice rectangle shape like so fantastic i just want to change the corner type up here so i want to make sure that we have it as rounded and we're just going to round off the edges like so i quite like a smooth looking button and what i'd like to do now is apply a sort of light red kind of color perfect okay let's create my text and i'm going to write in here last page i want to quickly manipulate the type so what i'm going to do is bring out my character window which is command t on mac or control t on windows as you can see my character is here and we're going to probably use bebas new as the font type let me quickly highlight that wonderful and we're just going to quickly change the color of that to white and the code for white are six Fs. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to right click on that, go to fitting and fit the frame to content. Make sure I use my free transform tool here. And enlarge the text like so. And let's make sure that this is all aligned correctly select the both of the options here i do have my alignment window out already but if you can't find it it's situated in window object and layout and align need to make sure that we have our align to options correctly selected which will be aligned to selection and let's align that like so okay so here is my button created now how do i make it interactive the first thing you've got to be aware of there are two elements to this button at the moment which is the typography and the shape. So you must make sure that these are grouped together. Very simply, use your selection tool, select both the shape and the text, and the shortcut to create this into a group on a Mac is Command G, and on Windows is Control G. Fantastic. With that still selected, what I'm gonna do now is come to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. Okay, so, your buttons and form window will open up here. And what we're going to do now is change the type to button. Fantastic. What you can do is name your button with the name that you want, which is pretty wise to do. So let's say we call this the last page button. We can choose our own event here, for instance. So we can go on release or tap or on click, on rollover, on roll off on focus or on blur. But what I quite like is on rollover. Wonderful. Now what we can do is in, uh, add our actions here. So if we come to the plus sign here, what I would like it to do is to go to the last page. But as you can see, you can have many different actions applied. Go to a destination, go to a particular URL, go to a previous page, a next page, the first page. But seeing as we focus on go to last page, that will be my action. Perfect. And then we have the rollover option here. So what will happen is, is when I hover over the mouse, it will change color. So I'm gonna come here and I just wanna make that a real sort of darker red. So it would change on the hover there. So around there, let's see. Perfect. Okay. And now your button should be done. Now, what we have to do is export this document so i'm going to come to file export or as you can see the shortcut on mac is command e 
to export or control E on Windows. So I'm going to do that now, which is Command E for me. And let's call this button practice. For instance, and the option that we should be using here should be a, a Adobe PDF interactive. OK, this will keep the interactive links and buttons still live so people can simply text, click the link or click the button and it will work. So what we're going to do now is save. This is our sort of standard options here. What I will do want to make sure is that I have the view for after exporting ticked because I want to view it after we export and we're going to say export. Let's press OK. And as you can see now, when we hover over it, it will change to a darker color. And if we click it, we'll go to the last page. And there you go, guys. That is how you create an interactive button within InDesign. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please, please, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, there's some really cool information on our Instagram page at Blue Sky Graphics UK coupled with some really cool designs by very talented students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.